actually, it's for Ben. Well, whose Facebook find is it? It's for Ben. Mine, I found it. Yeah, there you go. I found it. I'm the Facebook sleuth now. <laughs> We're gonna make it under these bottom stop lines. <laughs> Look at that. We're maybe a little bit tall. What do you think, Flo Lene? Do you like the new shed? I think our door just swung open. <laughs> the door keeps opening. <laughs> We decided to become members of the Little House community. Drop the tail. There you go. Take the loop. Go around that. Yep. There you go. That'll work. So you're just making a mess of stuff there. so light that the ramp lifted Sense it up. It. Yeah. it hits a bump and it's like, Wee! Yeah, the ramp, ramp sends it over. Okay, here, we're not off yet. I'm aware of that. Go to just, just that side. Go to the wire. The or to the you can go through and go to the We almost trashed our shed in the first 30 seconds of owning it. It's a nice little shed, isn't it? Yeah. I did good. So this is the little shed we bought. It's just a little like eight by eight garden shed type thing. Um, our plan is to repaint it so that it will match the store. It'll be super cute. Um, we've got two options for what we were gonna do with this shed. We haven't quite figured out which one's which yet. Uh, but the first option is to put it out in the pumpkin patch and have it be a kind of shed space for Ben and Alex to hang out in when they're out there helping people cut pumpkins. Kind of makes it an easy place to spot of like, okay, I need a pumpkin, where am I supposed to go? The guys are in the shed type of thing. Um, option number two is one thing that I noticed a lot of last year um, was moms with young babies that needed a place to change diaper. Um, so. We didn't really have that, unfortunately. So a lot of them would just come in the shop and you know just lay their kid on the floor or whatever, which is fine. But I wanna be able to provide a, a space for that. So 
I'm hoping maybe the other option is to turn this into kind of a maternity suite where there can be a changing table, a place for a mom to nurse if she doesn't feel comfortable doing it out in the open, um, stuff like that. So maybe a little mommy suite as well. So we'll see which way we go with it, but we'll keep you updated. So yeah, last year, Alex, my brother-in-law, Alex, and I spent uh, the majority of our time out in the actual patch and we just used a tent or a canopy uh, to kind of protect us from the weather, which is fine. It kind of did work except for realistically, I'm trying to go away from all those canopies because we spent probably $2,000 plus dollars on canopies that just got absolutely torn apart last year. Uh, you got to kind of figure it's like, okay, is it time to, you know, uh, is it time to like put it down because the wind's getting too big or too strong, that type of stuff. And then also it, some days it's a little chilly where we still have visitors, but you know, they might more or less be playing, but we still have to be out there in the patch if people want to go to the corn maze and kind of direct them. Well, with the tent out there, you know, not to sound like a complete wuss, uh, it got cold and standing, sitting in the wind, you know, we were putting tarps up on the sides of it. So that kind of did work and then on the flip side of it too is that like uh we have wagons and stuff that we take out there uh and scissors and all that kind of stuff and this will give us a place to maybe keep some of those wagon parts um i'll have to modify this one so molly will probably tell you about what the two options are so we'll probably determine on if this becomes my in the patch shed or possibly uh well i'll just let molly tell you what else it could be a nice big open door on it a pretty wide door honestly so you can get some things in there it's got a pretty tall ceiling a little shelf already built in it's already wired up with a light it's got one little bit the only thing that i think we really would need to add is some windows maybe just to give it a little more light and maybe a opportunity for a cross breeze yeah it's if we like if we turn this into like the maternity and then B, we get to have more storage for through the winter and hold stuff. Mm -hmm. But like, since this already has a light, which is really not like wired in or anything, we could probably pretty easily, like if this was the door that we were using, found a way to latch it, then have like, if I just put one window in here, you know, for the uh, moms, it's like this, that way, like we could put like a curtain Oh, that has a nail right there. We gotta watch that. We can put like a curtain on like one small window, and then that way, you know, uh, light could come in. Obviously, we could have this light for people, and we have power where this would be kind of at. But we could put a chair in here for they're gonna nurse. It's like it would be probably hot, but you know, it's never really that hot when we're open. It might be have one day, but we're not gonna put air conditioning or something like that in here. Um, and then we could just put like, yeah, keep it pretty cool. uh, like one changing table in here with like a trash can uh, for, you know, diapers and stuff like that. But that would make it so moms have somewhere to go with the kids that they're kind of um, out of the public eye. So, and kind of looking at the size of this, it kind of leads towards maybe using this one for, uh, I mean, I, it, it's not bad. It, it still work, but like for what I want out at the patch, it would be, I want to have one big window on one side and then like two windows on this side. That way I could easily see on both sides of it. This door kind of works, but I could, one little walkthrough door would, suffice for me so who knows this 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 might make a really good maternity deal mommy sweet okay well we will keep you updated on the paint job and what we actually decide to end up doing with the shed stay tuned <laughs>